Hi everyone, I'm Elisa with EECC Travels and in today's cruise tips video, we're going to be talking about booking directly with the cruise line versus booking with a travel agent. What are the differences and why you should do one or the other? So let's start with booking direct with the cruise line. There's two ways you can do this. One, you can hop on your computer or your smartphone or your tablet and go to the cruise line's website and price out a cruise. And if you like it, you can click buy and buy it right there online. Easy peasy, nothing to it, okay? Or you can always call and speak with a representative and tell them what you're looking for. They can walk you through the process tell you what's available, um, give you pricing, and you can book over the phone. Either one of these methods, you're booking direct with the cruise line. So what's the benefit of booking direct with the cruise line? Number one, you have full and complete control of your booking. So if you're a control freak and like everything in your hands, in your control, then you're better off booking direct. This means that you can go online, make any changes, make payments online, um, call and directly speak with the cruise line about your questions and concerns, things like that. Having that complete control is the benefit of booking direct. Once you're an established cruiser with that cruise line, many times you'll be assigned a personal vacation planner. Every cruise line calls them something different. Um, that's just the one, one title I can think of off the top of my head. That's where you have a dedicated cruise line employee that is your point of contact. Whenever you receive emails from the cruise line, they will be from that person. Um, they will, whenever you need to, to call in and book a cruise, you will call into that person. Sometimes they're, they can get really personal. I had a great uh, Carnival PVP one year he actually left Carnival to go become a travel agent, but he was a fantastic PVP when he worked for Carnival, and I could text him, and I could get on the phone with him, and he could look up things, and we would text each other back and forth, and he was really great to work with, okay? Sometimes you'll get really, really good people, and sometimes not. I know um, I'm just using Carnival as an example here because I have crews with them the most, I have had good PVPs and really, really bad PVPs to where you would call, they were unresponsive, they wouldn't return your phone calls, and they were your point of contact. So it was kind of like, ah! And sometimes you would just scratch working with your PVP and just pick up the phone and call the main 1-800 number and get what you need. Okay, so in summary, Booking direct with the cruise line, your benefits are you have full and complete control over your booking, and once you have cruised, often you will be given a dedicated cruise specialist for that particular cruise line. Okay, so if that's your if that's your game, if that's how you like to, to book your vacations, then that's the way to go. On the flip side, the other way to book cruises is through a travel agent. And there's multiple ways of doing this. There are independent travel agents that you can work directly with one-on-one. -on -one. You don't have to, you can do this online, by phone, by text, by email, however you feel most comfortable working with that travel agent. There are big, big boxes, what I'm gonna call them, online agencies. These would be like Cruises It, Cruises One, Cruises.com, things like that. Those are technically travel agents. You will see them as a website, but how they operate is a travel agency. The other way of doing this is going into a brick and mortar office and sitting down with somebody at a desk and that is your travel agent and they'll help you. Okay, so those are the three different ways of booking with a travel agent. Now, how does it work? Okay, so if you go, if you speak with a travel agent, you say, I wanna book a cruise. You may know exactly the cruise line, exactly the itinerary, exactly the deck you want, exactly the cabin you want. And you just want somebody to book it for you and give you advice and look out for your best interest, okay? So if you are that type of customer and you want a travel agent like that, that's great. If you're on the other end of the spectrum and you're new to cruising and you just go, I want to take a cruise. I don't know where. I don't know when. I don't know how much my budget is. 
travel agents can work you with, with you like that. Knowing how to ask the proper questions to determine, well, what port is best for you to sail out of? How many days is best for your first cruise? What ports you would like to visit? What kind of budget do you have? Do you want an inside, an ocean view, a balcony, a suite? where you want to be on the ship, a travel agent can help walk you through that process. A lot of people ask me a couple of things. Will, will I still have online access to my booking? Yes, absolutely. As soon as you get that booking confirmation, which is going to come directly from the cruise line, you can log on to the cruise line's website, log into your account, Put in your booking confirmation number and you've got access to everything in your booking. The only thing you do not have online access to is making payments. All payments are made through your travel agent on your behalf directly with the cruise line. Okay? Um, that is question number two. Well, how do, how do I pay for my cruise? Most people will put a credit card on file with their travel agent and whenever they get ready to make a payment, they will pick up the phone and call or send a text or send an email saying, I'd like to pay X number of dollars on my cruise. The travel agent will process it and send you an email confirmation. Another question a lot of people have is, is it gonna cost me anything to work with a travel agent? And most of the time the answer is no. Most travel agents do not charge a booking fee on cruises. So the rate you see on the website is the exact rate you're going to pay with a travel agent. So, you're getting a travel professional for free. How do travel agents get paid? There is a commission built into every cruise fare. Either a travel agent's getting it, or the cruise line keeps it and pays the associates that work on the online system, or the phone system, or the personal vacation planners. So, somebody's getting that commission. Okay, so it can either go to a single professional that you work with on all of your trips, or if you would prefer working with the cruise lines, then the cruise line takes that commission to pay those employees that work on the cruise bookings. Okay, so the next question is, am I going to save money by using a travel agent? And the answer is sometimes. So there are times where the rates online are the exact rates that are available to travel agents, no exceptions. Okay, and I see that a lot. It depends on the booking. There are other times where I have gone and looked at a booking and there are the set rates and then there is a different rate available because our agency has blocked out space. And when that happens, there is a lower rate available. Sometimes I have seen additional onboard credit available because of our agency's contract. So yes, there are times that you're going to save money. I don't believe in saying that yes, guaranteed every time you're going to save money by booking with a travel agent because that's not true, but you're going to get professional service either way. Okay. But I'm answering questions. So what are some benefits of working with a travel agent instead of booking direct? Because you are giving up a little bit of control of your booking to have that travel agent involved. The only real control you're giving up is that you cannot go online and make payments. Other than that, you have full access to your booking. You can do everything online just as if you would if you would have booked it yourself. So what are some benefits? Number one is that tra a travel agent can help you with all aspects of the cruise. So if you call in to book your cruise, they are going to book your cruise and that's it. They will add travel insurance if you want them to. If you have some questions about excursions, sometimes they can help you with that. But for the most part, they're going to tell you go online, look at our website, look at our excursions and decide for yourself. So once a cruise booking is complete, your travel agent can monitor the prices. So depending on how you booked, if you booked early and you booked under an early saver rate, then usually it's an adjustable rate, meaning if the price drops, you can call in and get a price reduction. So um, usually a travel agent will keep an eye on those things for you. 
if you want to keep an eye on it too, you can still absolutely do that because sometimes you as the uh, cruise line customer will get a special email with a special promo code. And if you get that, all you have to do is call your travel agent and say, hey, I just got this new promo code. Can it be applied to my current booking? And they will check for you. Also, a travel agent can help you with things like a hotel before or after your cruise if you want to spend some more time in uh, the city that you sailed out of. Airport transfers and other fun aspects of your cruise like excursions. So if you've never been to a port before and need some recommendations of excursions, your travel agent can help rec make recommendations. They can either be done th through the cruise line or there are third party companies that you can book through. Another thing that's very important is travel insurance. So you can always buy the cruise line travel insurance. The problem with this is it's only covering your cruise. So if you're if you only live a couple of hours from port and you're driving in and you really just need coverage for that cruise, then that's okay. But if you're flying in and needing to stay in a hotel the night before or maybe the night after and you've prepaid for all of these things and they're non-refundable, that insurance you bought through the cruise line is not going to cover your flight or your hotel if the whole trip gets canceled. So my recommendation is letting your travel agent get you travel insurance that will cover every aspect of the cruise. Probably the best part of using a travel agent to book your cruises is you have one person, one-on-one -on -one contact that you can work with that person. They get to know you. They get to know the things you like. They can be on the lookout for your next trip for you. If, you, if they know that you want to do this specific type of itinerary and they happen to see that itinerary come up, then they can email you and go, hey, look, I found this and I thought about you. Things like that. The personalized aspects of it. So in talking to people, I know there are definitely those that want to book directly with the cruise line, do everything themselves, handle everything themselves, and be in complete control of the booking. And then you've got some that would rather work with a travel agent for, for a few different varieties of reasons. Number one, they might be a new cruiser and, need, and truly need help in planning that process. Or you may have somebody that just likes working with the same person over and over again, so would rather use a travel agent because of that personal relationship. I've had others that say that they would rather use a travel agent because they would rather give that commission to a small business, especially if they know that person and trust that person, and that's a way that they can help that person out because it's nothing out of pocket for them. Like I said, there's a commission built into every cruise fare. It's going somewhere. Either it goes to a travel agent or it goes to someone at the cruise line. Okay, so I hope this video helps explain the difference in booking a cruise directly with the cruise line or through a travel agent. It's really going to be a personal decision. There's no right way or wrong way to do this, but you do what you feel most comfortable doing. So if you want to book that cruise direct and you want to be in control of everything, then absolutely do that. Do what you're comfortable with. And I did that for many, many years before I became a travel agent myself and I still book my own cruises. So hey, that, that's, my, that's my personality. If you do want to work with a travel agent, find someone that you know and that you can trust and you can develop that long-term relationship with. It might be the person in your hometown that you can go sit down at their desk and talk face-to-face -face with. It might be somebody you've met online. It might be somebody that you've met in a Facebook group. There's a lot of different ways you can connect with the right travel agent. There's a lot of good travel agents out there. Find one that fits your personality, that fits your style, and build that long-term travel relationship. So I hope this has helped answer any questions you have. If you do have more questions, just leave them in the comments down below. And in case you didn't catch that, I'm a travel agent. I'd be more than happy to help you if you need my help. And um, I will leave my contact information at the end of this video and down in the description. Until next time, happy cruising. Bye.